the most common question I get asked is, how long does it take? That's usually followed with a, do they ever get out? Flesh-eating beetles are nature's way of cleaning up after itself. When raised in a controlled environment under the right conditions, they can strip a skull in two days or less. Yes, they can get out. In fact, they're great climbers, and when the temperatures are right, they even fly. My interest in skull cleaning was ignited by a taxidermist friend in Montana. With a little research and a lot of help from the museum curator at our state university, I launched Dakota Skulls, a beetle cleaning service located here in Minot, North Dakota. That was five years ago, and while much has changed in our understanding of skull cleaning, the beetles are still the same, working day and night for just room and board. I would guess the third question I get asked is, do they eat the hair and everything? Do you just toss in the skull and they clean it? Well, not exactly. We have to do a little work. It starts with skinning the skull and removing the eyes, brains, and the lower jaw. Next, the head is dried down to remove excess moisture. At this point, it is ready for the beetles. Too dry and they won't eat it. Too wet and disease will develop. Trophy care is important to get the best finished results. When weather is warm, do all you can to keep the head cool. Beetles do not like decaying flesh. When left to rot, the bone will warp and discolor. Whenever you can, freeze the head, sealed in plastic. For those who want a display panel, we custom make our own panels to fit the skull. Everything from wall displays to desktops and in almost every type of wood. Badland cedar is by far our most popular wood, but we offer other woods like oak, hickory, walnut, and for the adventurous, we have exotics like Baltic birch, tiger wood, and zebra, just to name a few. The most common skull we do is deer, probably followed by antelope. Black bear and brown bear fill in our spring season and keep the beetles eating through the summer. Buffalo is somewhere in that list. Moose, elk, the list goes on with paddlefish ranking at the top of the way cool list. The most intriguing critters we do has to be hippo and muskox. Our goal is to produce a museum quality piece that will stand the test of time. Check us out on the web at dakotaskulls.com.